What's up, you guys? Your boy Per Senpai here, and today we're gonna be reacting to Doctor Stone season three, episode six. On the last episode, we finally get to see Senku and the crew finally make the ship. Of course, it's like a time lapse, but we also get to see the little things they also do along the things that they're doing besides the ship. But finally, seeing the final result of the ship it actually looks pretty good like it's like a modern slash like uh ancient ship mixed together which i gotta say looks badass and by also seeing the leader choosing every person that he wants to go on board with they finally set sail and on their journey they're gonna be going to where senku's father's uh i think spacecraft landed and now i'm just kind of curious on what they're gonna do once they get there with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see my reaction on the next episode hit that subscribe button if you guys have haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about let's hop on to today's episode all right we got a full view of the ship looks pretty nice cgi and all you know <laughs> damn seven billion humans i don't think sanko is gonna be alive by the time they actually complete that goal or maybe they will oh so are they gonna try to find a way to make that miracle potion again there's a god tier item that will give us an unlimited supply. Ooh. So that supply, it's going to be where that spacecraft is going to be. Wait, wait a minute. Is that how the inside interior looks like? Oh, shit. Treasure box. I wonder what they're going to find. Loot books. 3,700 years ago, several years after humanity purification. Oh, okay, so this must be the time of, yeah, when they landed at the place. Yeah, pretty much all the valuable stuff that used to be, like, actual valuable doesn't really mean crap, you know? So, you know, may as well use it for what you think it's usable. Damn, they've been making kids. This is, a, I mean, I'm kind of happy, but also like kind of fucking sad at the same time. Wow, so a tree has been growing on that spaceship. Wow. Damn, man. So the stories have been passed down by generation by generation. Are you prepared? Well, how long is this story? Wow, wait, don't tell me. They, she was talking almost during the whole day. <laughs> wait wait number eight wait how many wait so a hundred tails bro didn't even pass damn man okay the priest has her work cut out oh so everybody's names are named after a rock that's actually pretty smart mm, so that's where you found the information of the treasure box or or that's even harder to come by than gold oh platinum yes yes so by having platinum they could definitely make that infinite revival fluid nice through bars number oh no not quiz dude i'm not good with quizzes there has to be like 250 right 250 people bingo wait so it was 150 Oh, so that's what, how it's spelled out in Japanese. Nice. Oh, who is this guy? Oh, what's with this guy in the uh, shield? Who is this guy? Who are you? Yeah, that's what I want to say. He doesn't have a name. Wait, so a guy that doesn't have a name. I'll call him Bald X. Shigami Village. Is he an imposter? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, now this is interesting. Real name is Soizu. But okay, how would he know where that treasure box is if he was like, a, you know, a baby? Okay, so what pretty much means that there's people in that un or in that island. Now I'm actually kind of interested on in what kind of people we're gonna be looking at at the island. So they're distant relatives of the people from the Ishigami. True. So there'll be some people that would stick around while others do take, you know, a venture out. Yeah, I do hope they're friendly. We'll just kill them. What the fuck? Can they be the Y man? Oh, now that's something. I actually am curious if there's actually intelligence in that place. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, dude. Humanity, they go up and down everywhere where they want to explore. Yo, my guy tried to fucking drive a boat. <laughs> well, I'm happy that Senku gave him a chance to know where he came from. Yeah, man, this science shit, man. This science shit can go anywhere in the water, though. It'd be nice to know how it's made and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she pretty much dug herself in the grave after wanting to know what this ship is made out of or what it does. I mean, same here. Wow, so she would actually listen to what Sanka would always say. Damn. All right, time to check out the ship, bro. So that's where they have the bad guys. Oh, so that's the sleeping area. Well, oh, they actually have sheep and plants here. Oh, yeah, the greenhouse. That would make sense. So that's the engine. The engine looks cool. Oh, wait, there's a lab. They even have a lab in this ship. Yeah, they have everything. Like they really outdid themselves with this ship. That's what the lab's for. Wait, he's gonna make some type of pill or drink that won't make them feel sick? It's hella poisonous! <laughs> Ooh. So that's what he's gonna give them. It'll legit kill you. Okay, they somehow became better. Man, I mean, it's pretty actually smart that Sanku brought some science stuff with him. Like a wicked woman, the sea's mood can swing at any moment. That's true. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, it's storming. Wait, what's wrong? Wait, wait, did he notice something? This guy. <laughs> this guy has me scared shitless, and yet he talks about the coffee. <laughs> wait, what's Seiko figuring out now? This is an opportunity. Oh, smart. So they're going to be using the storm as a cover-up. This is awesome. This is awesome. A ship crew. Who would thought that this actually works out? What did they see? The island. Yes, they're close. This is accelerating. Yep. Nice, nice. Time to review today's episode. So while we're on the journey of the ship going to the island, we kind of get a glimpse on the past story of what Senku's father was truly doing as the time was passing. As Senku's father was collecting resources that he knew one day someone would find and find a treasure as something valuable and something good to use. He would put that on in the spacecraft, which, you know, the spacecraft of science would protect it anything from going in or out. And also a smart thing that Senku's dad also did was that he named people by rocks, I believe. And it would actually make a lot of sense for the descendants of the people that still traveled to the Japan that there would still be people that would be staying behind as well. So it looks like we're going to be seeing the other people that have came down or passed down from the other generations that have decided to stay at the island. Now for that random guy that has like the X on his head. Now I don't know what to say but like that plot was just very strange. I hope they do express more in that area because right now it's kind of you know plot armor or just you know just plot that just goes in and just expect us to automatically be okay with it and also seeing the inside of the ship man i mean that's a lot of things in the ship that is actually pretty smart to do especially that you know science uh you know cart that senko has down there that he could use while they're on the ship and that he could use while taking it out to the island but another thing that's interesting is that there's a rock that senku does need to make some more miracle stuff of the revival fluid and i believe what he said was uranium or uranium i don't know how to say it honestly <laughs> but it's that material that senku does know that once they obtain that type of material they're definitely going to be able to use unlimited revival fluid so i'm very excited to see what they'll find in the island once they you know land at that place with that said if you guys happen to enjoy my reaction on today's episode hit that like button if you guys want to see more reaction on the next episode hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already but that's pretty much all i gotta talk about it's been your boy Perry senpai and i'll see you guys in the next episode